On our bill of fare today, we are preparing peanut butter soup or Ghana soup. If today is the first time here, this is Lena and welcome to my kitchen where we share easy recipes. Please do not make it the last time of visiting. To my returning ones, thank you so much for clicking on this video and also for watching my videos all the time. Without wasting much of your time, let's start with today's activity. So I have with me here my peanut butter and then my tomato paste. I will mix it very well. I added some water to it. So I'll mix it very well till it becomes uniform and then we will continue. We are on all social media platforms at Exhibiting Mommy's Recipes. Please do well to follow us there. Should you want to use tomato, uh, I mean the fresh tomatoes, okay? You can use that instead of the tomato paste. But you have to make sure you don't include the seed or if you want to, you can as well do that, okay? Yeah. So this is how it looks now and it is perfectly mixed. At this moment, I will be adding some water to it to become um, liquid form. And then we are going to make sure we fry this very well till we get some oil on top. So we are doing this because um, it is very um, risky if your peanut butter soup is not well cooked, okay? You will end up with some running tummy. So if you fry it this way, you know that the peanut is well cooked and should you are preparing the soup and you do not spend much time on it you know it was well cooked before you used it for the soup i hope you understand yes yeah, so we are going to fry this perfectly whilst that is on fire and we are frying i have my cow feet here i have my goat meat and i've added my pepper ginger garlic onions and I'm just going to, um, I have added my salt and then my good seasoning as well, okay? We are going to cook this very well. And now this is how it looks. I'll give it a stir and then make sure everything enters everywhere. <laughs> yes. And now it is ready. It is so good. So we are going to set that aside and then... Um, show you how our peanut butter is doing and just look at that it's so good so when you get to this point and you think it is too thick you can add some water to it and then fry it again i'll give it a stir and then wait for some few minutes have you liked this video no please what are you waiting for can you smash on the like button for me and please share this video i'll be very happy to see your comments in the comment section and please do not make it the last time here thank you so much if you want short videos i mean detailed recipes that are very short like less than a minute or a minute video please follow us on tiktok instagram and then our youtube shots we will set this aside and add some water to it, mix it very well, and then add it to our proteins. Just look at that. The soup looks so delicious. And I can tell you that at this moment, the peanut is well um, cooked. I mean, the peanut butter is well cooked. So you just need a little time to cook this and it should be ready, okay? But if you add it straight to the... Um, if you add it straight to the proteins without frying it, it may take a longer time. And sometimes if you are not expert, you may not know whether it is well cooked or not. But if you fry it for a very long time, you can assure, okay, that this is ready and you don't have to worry about any, um, any running tummy. Do you get it? yes now we're going to leave it on fire and it has been on fire for some few minutes like 20 minutes and this is how it looks it looks delicious already 
I will then go ahead and add this fish to the soup. And oh my goodness, it will add extra taste to it. You know, we added our seasoning, our um, pepper, everything to the meat already. So this recipe, we are not going to waste any time. Do you get it? Everything is in the soup already. Now that we've added our fish, we are just going to wait for some few minutes and then our soup should be ready. I'm not going to add anything to it. We've added our herbs, our natural um, spice and everything to it already when we're steaming the meat. Now, after some few minutes, our soup is ready. And just look at that. It looks so delicious. I don't add... Um, okra to it because sometimes when it is in the soup for a very very long time you can see that it's it will mash in the soup and when you want to eat this with rice you will see okra in the rice not everyone likes that okay so when we are going to eat it with something that we need okra i'll just cook okra and then add it to it when i added the fish i added some pepper to it as well Thank you so much for watching and try this recipe you will love it so i come your way next time please eat healthy and take good care of yourself i love you bye bye